In the previous video, we saw how we could use trigonometry to find an unknown side. And all you needed was that you were given one of the angles and one of the sides. In this video, we're going to see how we can use Sokatua trigonometry with a right angle triangle to find an unknown angle. And all we need to be given is that we're given two of the sides, any two. Now, you remember that in your formula sheet, you will see this. And this can all be summed up using the acronym so toa okay now so toa is just a shortened version where so just represents sine of the angle is opposite over hypotenuse ka represents the cos of the angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and finally toa represents the tan of the angle is the opposite over adjacent so the importance of getting your sides named correctly is crucial because if you don't do that correct then everything will be wrong that you do thereafter okay so the best way to kind of talk you through is if we do a couple of examples together first of all okay so you'll notice in each of these examples that you're given uh, two of the sides and you're asked to find a third piece of information in this case namely the angle okay so Let's have a look and see what we do first of all. Now, the first thing you do in each question is you name the sides. So again, across from the angle, uh, you always name the sides in relation to the angle. And across from the angle is your opposite. Across from the right angle is the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. And finally, we've got our adjacent. The next thing we do to identify which ratio to use is that we write down so katoa, just like we did last time. And you then take off anything you are given. Now we're given the opposite, so we take off the O's. You're given the hypotenuse, so we take off the H's. And the two ticks on so tells us that we are going to use sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we write that down, sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Now the angle is x, so sine of x equals the opposite, which is 14, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 30. Now what you need to do is get x. So you need to go from sine x to just x. And to undo sine, what you need to do is do inverse sine. So on the calculator, you would do shift sine or second function sine, depending on what type of calculator you have. And then in brackets, you can do your division. 14 divided by 30. And given your answer to the nearest whole number, like you're told, you find that the answer to question 1 is 28 degrees. So whenever you're looking for an angle, you will always use either inverse sine, inverse cos, or inverse tan. Okay? Let's have a look at the second question, okay? So what we'll do is, we'll move this down, and we'll shift this down as well. So you just follow the same pattern, name the sides, write so katoa, decide which ratio to use, and take it from there. Okay? So across from the angle x, it's going to be the opposite. Across from the right angle, it's going to be the hypotenuse. And alongside, last but not least, is your adjacent. Writing so katoa, we can then start ticking off. What are we given? We're given the opposite, so we take off the O's. You're given the adjacent, so you take off the A's. Two ticks on toa, so we're going to use toa. Look at your formula sheet. What does toa stand for? It stands for tan of the angle, which in this case is x, is equal to the opposite over uh, adjacent. So it's 6.2 divided by 7.9. And then to go from tan x to x, you have to do the opposite of tan to undo tan. So you do inverse tan of this ratio here. So 6.2 divided by 7.9. And once you work that out on the calculator, you get an answer to the nearest whole number of 38 degrees. Remember, when you're finding an, ang an angle, to give your answer in degrees. And finally here, do the same thing. Name the sides. Across from the angle is your opposite. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. And finally, you've got your adjacent. Right, so katoa. Take off anything you're given. You're given the adjacent. So we'll take off the A's. You're given the hypotenuse. We'll take off the H's, two ticks on K, so that's what we're going to use. K stands for cos of the angle, which in this case is X, is equal to the adjacent, which in this case is 96, 
divided by the hypotenuse, which in this case is 107. To get x on its own, you've got to undo cos, so you do inverse cos of what's here, so 96 divided by 107. You work that out and you get to the nearest whole number an answer of 26 degrees. Okay? So that's how you find an unknown angle using trigonometry when you're dealing with right angled triangles. So, here are three questions for you to try yourselves. Give your answer to the nearest whole number and see how you get on. Pause the video and come back and check your answers in a wee while. Okay, we'll do this question, or these questions. We'll just give ourselves a bit of space and we'll move them down like so. So naming the sides, that's your opposite, that's your hypotenuse, that's your adjacent. Writing Silkatoa, take off what you're given, you're given the opposite, so that's the O's, you're given the adjacent, that's the A's, two ticks on Toa, that's what we're, what we're going to use. Toa stands for tan of your angle, which is X, equals the opposite over the adjacent, so 7 over 12. And then to get X on its own, you do inverse tan of 7 divided by 12, and you end up with an answer to the nearest whole number of 30 degrees. Okay. Looking at question 5, naming the sides, we end up with our opposite, down on the bottom, our hypotenuse is here, and here we have our adjacent, white silkatoa. Take off anything you're given, and that is your adjacent, and also your hypotenuse. Yes, no, I can, I can, I can edit it. Yes, no, no, see me as it's yourself. I know it's not signed, don't worry, don't worry. But, 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 I mean, you haven't seen me, I thought you'll come down. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I'll just pause it and then I'll For this one again, across from the X is your opposite, across from the right angle is your hypotenuse, and lastly your adjacent. Right, so katua. Take off what you're given. We're given the adjacent. We're given the hypotenuse. Two ticks on ka. That's what we're going to use. Ka stands for cos of your angle x is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So 16 over 19. And to the nearest whole number, your answer will be uh, when you do that x is inverse cos of 16 over 19, you end up with an answer of 33 degrees. Okay, and finally, question 6, naming the sides gives us our opposite over here. Our hypotenuse is across from the right angle, so this is going to be our adjacent. Writing so katua uh, across from uh, the angle we have our opposite given, so we'll take off the O. Down here we have our hypotenuse given, take off the H, two ticks on so, so we use so. Sine of the angle X is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 4.7 divided by 10.9. And to get x on its own, we have to isolate it by doing inverse sine of 4.7 divided by 10.9. And to the nearest whole number, that gets an answer of 26 degrees. And that's how you find a missing angle, the right angle triangle, when you're given two of the sides using trigonometry. Make sure you name the sides correctly and make sure that you read your formula sheet correctly. 
so i hope that was helpful